the kind of fun stuff we get to see sometimes on the road. Look at that baby. Ooh, America! The caulking has commenced. I'll get a couple of them done here and then show you the process. I think there should be a special tool for this. I thought of that, the caulking sled yeah. by Clint. <laughs> by, Malone, by Malone. I, I could patent them. Oh wait, there's no one doing this anywhere. Yeah, this, this is a dead art. <laughs> You're working on the cockpit. I don't know what these are, but I love making them. They're there. <laughs> Lincoln logs. <laughs> they don't work. And so I'm sitting here, what the heck? <laughs> I finally figured out you gotta lift this up. Just to see that indent, oh, right? yeah. that detail right there. And drop it down. And then they go in. So you wanna just kinda overkill everything here a little bit. Besides the 516s weren't available. Except the cocky, we're not overkilling on the cocky. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're kinda cheap. Oh, <laughs> Got the cheap cog, cheap black cog. Yep. Black silicone cogging from Home Depot. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got this at Lowe's. <laughs> Sanding them like with the little uh, paper around your. Um, I made this little, uh, little block, little piece of bronze here. Okay. Pretty much the perfect size. Nice. Just to make them all uniform. Well, we got to get all the, the epoxy that dripped in there. We cleaned it really good, but there's always a little bit of a drip. And it okay. Is, you know? Yeah. It makes this shiny surface. Yeah, we sanded all the amine. It's called an amine blush. That's what the uh, shiny is on the epoxy after it dries. Okay. It's kind of waxy. You can't really paint over it or stick epoxy to it unless you sand it. So we sanded that off, and now we're just doing an acetone wipe for the oils and the tea. So we've done that. And I'm going to start caulking this so we can finish this area tomorrow and the next day. Great, yeah. Doug's reworking this area here. He'll take us through it in a minute. Nice. Walk it anyway. There it is. Our right, time cock. <laughs> here we go. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> What size bit is that there? Uh, you mean the bead? Yeah. It's just a stock stock one that they gave us. Uh, it's 11 64th. <laughs> How'd they suck down? Pretty good? Yeah. Right. Been wanting to put that bolt in for two years. <laughs> this bolt here? Yes. <laughs> Remember this was waving yeah, in the breeze? Yeah, sure, sure. This whole little bit, this well, bit here was always hanging. Yep. And now it's in. Very good. Oh, got a Toyota. We gotta make sure this is down here, so that's why it's, you let it stick up like that. You're saying you wanna make sure that it's definitely full? All the way down, yeah, because we're gonna go over it with a knife. You'll putty it in, right? You'll yeah. Squish, squish it in. Oh. I'll get a couple of them done here and then show you the process. Seems like there should be a special tool for this. I thought of that. The caulking sled yeah. by Clint. <laughs> by, Malone, by Malone. I, I could patent them. Oh wait, there's no one doing this anywhere. Yeah, this, this is a dead art. <laughs> it's definitely not fast. If you look in front of it, it's, I can see it, it's pulling up in front of this yeah. and also behind it. So. 
what you want, right? Yeah. Because when I hit it with a knife, you want it to just barely stick above. Because it does shrink up a little bit after it dries. So what I do after that, the, the caulking's in there, I'll just take the knife like this. See it beading up behind it? That make a nice bead right there. Okay. Yeah, it puffs up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go back like this. Take a little, take that excess off. Yep. That way, when the chisel's on there, so when this is dry, come back with the chisel and just go. Take it right off. Yeah, and then sand off the excess. Great, so how long should this cure before you come back and, um, and actually clean it up for good? A couple days. A couple days. The longer the better. Really? Yeah. You're still gonna have to sand it. Oh yeah. Hand sand the, the last bit off? No, I use the uh, <clears throat> soft pad and just oh. kind of kiss it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we'll get most of it with the chisels. And then uh, there'll be some detailing, of course, all the way around the house and stuff, but there's that. All right, so what you, you're working on the cockpit. I don't know what these are, but I love making them. They're there. <laughs> no, this is the uh, hatch frame, the beginning of the hatch frame. This is the part that has got a curved top to it. Okay, yeah, yeah I see that, yeah. And, uh, so I'll glue this together today and start making the uh, little support pieces. This will be built just like the bridge deck. Be yeah. a quarter inch ply with teak over. All right. And uh, that way it'll be a king on the non skid surface. And uh, uh, Lincoln Logs. <laughs> And that way, um, that's pretty beefy. Well, it's in a place where you're going to run back and jump on it to grab the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the seat is sitting on that, but the seat. Yeah, sitting next to it. Around outside of it, yeah. See, the other one before just kind of was a lid. It just yeah. Sat there. It just sat there. It didn't provide any structural or any purpose. Yeah, didn't it was, hold the seat in barely. Yeah. So we're gonna change that. I think. I'm gonna try. You see all those pieces we put around there? Yes. Yes, I didn't. I was waiting for you to walk us through with all those pieces. Well, they don't look like much right now, but there's a lot of notching and lapping yeah. over and, and, and weird stuff. So when it's all done, it'll just look like chunks. <laughs> you no. don't realize it has to go under the combing and to fit around the bolts. This is the uh, massive pinchy hatch subframe. This goes back in the cockpits, which you sit on when you're steering. Yeah, not really, you sit on the teak seat, but this is underneath. Okay. And uh, so yeah, we glue that the up. Old and one. The old one was pretty ratty. 
It was very lightly built. It was just a, like a plywood lid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not much we can do there. We don't have much room, especially back by the aft combing. There's just no room there. So this will have a 5 8 rabbit sticking out that it, it actually sits on the deck. This has the same crown as the deck. Okay. And it'll have quarter inch ply with uh, little half inch or so teak planks on it, just like the bridge deck. It's pretty, pretty basic and have a, tri a, a frame around it. These are half lap, half lap joints. What are they called? Half lap. Oh, okay. They'll later be, uh, when we put the skirts on the outside, we'll, they'll be fastened through everything. But they'll be strong enough like that. Okay. With the glue. And, uh, so, should we take a look at what you, uh, the other side, the receiving side of that? What else do we have to look, because you've rebuilt that whole cockpit. <clears throat> yeah, that area, um, we finished installing that yesterday. <clears throat> we changed some things. Like this, this here, you feel this little radius? Mm -hmm. This is up a quarter inch from this. That'll help this area drain. And these logs here, both sides, this is notched over halfway. This is notched under and around the two bolts inside. And then this little piece, there's another piece that's gonna go on top of this once the combing's in. It'll okay. be, it'll be, so it'll bring it up to this height. Um, so the seat fits around that? Well, that teak seat? Yeah. Which is right there. It sits here. It sits right there. It was right out to the edge almost, just like it always had. Yeah. But this time we're going to um, put a couple stops in here. Remember how it could slide out? Yeah, yeah. So we won't be able to do that. You have to lift it up. Okay, good. So that, like that leg that's on there? Yeah. We'll shorten that a quarter of an inch and put a matching leg over there um, so that it sits on here. And why shorten it? Because it needs to sit down a little more? Well, because see, we changed this. This We raised this up a quarter of an inch. Oh, okay. So that this leg will sit down here, so we have to shorten this one back here. Oh, gotcha. But that's easy. And then we'll pin that one. Put a big bronze screw through the, those, those two little legs. Okay. Because the only thing they got going for them, they're, you know, they're ingrain, kind of edge grain, I guess. So if you drop it or something happens, they can snap off, which is what that one did. Yes. So we'll put a new leg on there and pin them both with a big bronze screw so that we can't do that. And we were just, you know, limited to the area here because of the propane tanks. Right. So, but it needed this whole new cap rail here. Uh-huh. This is uh... Remember it had the little short two-inch two inch planks here? Oh, is that where they were? The little tiny planks. Okay. So what they did in some time in the past, they cut this out and installed that propane locker. Yes. Um, and it just left the little planks there. So now it's going to be a lid for this that's going to have the teak on top of it. Right. So it'll look like a small version of the bridge deck. Okay. If the seat were off. Yeah. But it's going to be under the seat. Yep. And it may be that with, with the teak on there, you know, it'll be more comfortable to sit on. It'll be more stable than that old varnish plywood one, you know? Well, we never sat on that. We always sat on that. Always sat on this? Yes. Okay. Never sat on the plywood. Okay. And then, then this is the caulking. Now, the way you've designed it, you may not even need the seat. The seat? Yeah. You can go either or, you know? Yeah. It's like this. Remember Victor Borga? Came out in the tuxedo on stage? Yeah, I loved him. Had the grand piano sitting yeah, there. Yeah. Sits down, the audience goes crazy. Like this. Gets up, takes the phone book out of the, <laughs> sits down on the phone book, goes again, no, gets no, up no. again, tears a page out of the phone book. <laughs> the one it was perfect. <laughs> so it's like that, you know, you, you might find that this is more comfortable. You know, your, the height of your knees. All right, it's only taking Clint three hours to do this. <laughs> so boring. <laughs> With this boat, with any boat, they're thinking 50 years. That's what that's what its general life expectancy. Yeah, is. I mean, if anything you make nowadays, can you right. can you say I'd like to get 50 years out of it? It's pretty good. So you look at a house built in 1924.
<laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah, well they now. Build, no, but they used to build it well back then. They'd build it beefy. Yeah, beefy. My house in Pasadena Craftsman. Well, that and, and they used better lumber. Yeah, you know, real four by fours. Yeah, and they didn't use so much sap wood and other garbage. And, uh, but uh, it was common practice. The guy down the street can build it for 500 bucks cheaper in those days. Yeah. That was yeah, a, lot a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. So I said, I'll do it for 500 bucks cheaper. I'll use iron. It'll outlive you. Yeah. Right, because somebody say, I'm going to own the boat for 20 years, then I'm going to sell it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So you got a guy yeah. that's ordering the boat brand new in 1924, and he's 50 years old. <laughs> He's going, 50 years you got it. Yeah. So, and. and $500, you, that's my wine budget. That was, <laughs> she said, a lot of money in those days. Anyway, so the reason we're caulking this before any of these seams out here is because now, in a, probably Monday, because you want to let this sit a few days. You know, I've, I've never used this product before. Okay. It's real similar to TDS. So you put it on my boat, even though you never use it before. Yeah. It's similar to TDS. Yeah, it's similar to TDS or Teak Deck Systems. Yeah. But everybody said, it's a little more expensive, but it's a lot better product. So I said, oh, well, okay. Okay. So in the, in the day, we used to use Detco. Okay. Doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, but it, it's, uh, it's terribly expensive. And now that we're, we're trying to be cheap about it, it's just that this is a lot friendlier to this job because to mix enough dead coat to just do this, you have to open the can and the, and the heart and the primer, see? <laughs> and the catalyst, and then you have to judge that. So, uh, anyway, so we, we, it says 24 hours minimum, keyword minimum, for this to cure. So we'll let it sit till Monday. In the meantime, I'll be making this hatch, and Clint can be caulking other stuff. Then on Monday, we'll sand this out so we can put the combing in okay. and uh, kind of start wrapping this area up. It's been a part. Get this uh, hatch cover in. Uh, roger that. And uh, well, that'll go in after the decks are completely caulked and sanded. There's no reason to put that thing in your way. Okay. Um, and then we can mount, the, you know, and, once, and another thing, once this is caulked, then we can, all the bright stuff, including this king plank and the bow king plank and this margin board, we can start getting some varnish on them. Okay. And then when that gets some varnish on it, then we can put the steel plate in. <laughs> After the get, varnish is on. Uh-huh, so we want it sealed behind there. And while the steel plate's going on, we can put the, the taffrail cap back on. Right. And all these bolts and screws, we're gonna dry fit them first, make sure they all work, which we've done here. And then we have to make sure that we hit these old holes with the old cap rail. Now, I had it up there the other day and it looked pretty good. Okay. But when you actually go to assemble all this, <laughs> you put it all together at once. Okay. So that you can start these bolts and these bolts and these bolts. So it all pulls together like this. Otherwise, if you tighten this, these are gonna get out of whack. Something will go wrong over here. This won't line up again and so forth. So while it's still loose, you can kind of get all the pieces lined up and then start tightening them down. We'll bed this with dolphinite back here. We were playing with those winch pads last week. What, what, what's going on with those? Well, we glued those little sticks, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah. And we dressed them on. And so yesterday or the day before, I soaked them with Smiths from the bottom up. Okay. So those little stick pieces got trimmed out. Yep. So they're all stashed over there. and. Uh, Staying out of trouble for now, okay. so that when we get to point X, those will take probably a day to put in. Okay. And we got the bolts in Monday. Oh, you got the bolts in. Mm -hmm. Good. They're, they're three eighths. That's a little bit bigger than the holes. Yeah, because see, they had five sixteenths, which is mm -hmm. they only had three bolts per winch. Yeah, so a little bit beefier is better beefier. as long as the winch hole, the holes on the winch side are big enough. Yeah, they're this far from being big enough. So we just run a drill through them. Even on the metal. Clean them out, yeah. Oh, okay. They're the bronze, so it's soft. Okay. And then they will put all bolts instead of some bolts and some screws. Okay. Because uh, sailing the Santa Barbara Channel is a lot different than sailing the Med or Main. 
to get some big winds out here and you get them fast. You can load up a head sail. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you want to just kind of overkill everything here a little bit. Besides the 5 16s weren't available. Except the caulking. We're not overkilling on the caulking. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're kind of cheap. <laughs> Got the cheap caulk, cheap black caulk. Yeah. Black silicone caulking from Home Depot. Not so, bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you got this at Lowe's. <laughs> so what do we got going here? Oh, we just cleaned these up the other day. Oh, Pulled the just... bolts out of them. Remember the bolts that were sticking through? Yeah, and then it had all kind of like caulking material. In yeah, it. these are the these are the old ones right here. Okay. So we've ordered some new ones. Yeah, he got the big ones. These don't look so bad though. These are the new ones right here. Whoa. Boom, five sixteenths. Bigger. Beefier. Yeah. These are, what, these are what, like? These are uh, three eighths, I think. Was, no, not even half inch, huh? No, they're. Not. And these are what? what Some are of them are quarter. I mean, oh, they're all different. They were different sizes. Oh wait, never mind. That's never mind. Okay, these are all the same. Holy shit! Just old and pitted, and not enough. Yeah, some of them were obviously showing some signs. Oh, that's the caulking material. Yeah. Actually, they all looked like they were actually in pretty good shape. But you're right. Why not? Yeah, but he wanted to put bigger. Yeah, bigger hardware just in general. Yeah, so, so you were saying you had a little issue oh. putting it back together? <laughs> I took these apart. I don't remember when I took them apart and we took them off the deck, but it was so long ago. And this little right here, these little cams right here. Yeah. Okay. I try to put them back in. And what I didn't notice was that right there. So you look down, oh, it should fit, it should fit perfect. And these little cams are in right where they need to go. And they don't work. And so I'm sitting here, what the heck? And I finally figured it out, you gotta lift this up. Just to see that indent, oh, right? yeah. that detent right there? And drop it down, and then they go in. That's what's holding it up. <laughs> so I sat here, I didn't know that that had slipped down, and I was like, what, it doesn't fit, and I was forever trying to get it oh, back on there. So now I... You know, one of the things we, talk, <laughs> we say, always say at the office, it's easy when you know how. And, you know, I know. It's I'm like, not a oh rigger. I don't know anything no, exactly. about these winches. And <laughs> no, I'm glad that they, they uh, are all seem to be in good shape, though. Pretty good shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're great. They, they need to be serviced. They'll be serviced before we put them back on, greased up. Will you guys grease them? Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be us or whoever's rigging the boat. Well, I mean, we're putting them back on. on. So, so they can always come wanna, off and be greased. Doug will probably want to do it before yeah. we put it, because yeah. if we're going to be installing them. Yeah. All right, very good. So they all got cleaned up? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a bit of work right there, huh? Yeah, but it's okay. done now. I mean, what are you thinking in a couple of weeks? I'd like to finish up the caulking here next week. Right? I mean, you saw how slow it is just doing this. Just it's, to put it, just to put it in. in. You yeah. know what I mean? I can probably get three, three seams a day. Okay, and you still have like at least ten. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, seven, fourteen seams. Fourteen. So that's another four or five days just doing that. And I'm then, not and then, prepping right now. So if, if if I sand them, and I don't have to come in and sand them and do it. So right now, when right. I start sanding, I'll probably get three seams sanded before it's time to go or more. Oh, you're still, I, sand, you're still sanding some of these seams. Yeah, I'm I'm sanding this one right here right now. Okay. So tomorrow I'll come in and. I'll, well, if I get all three of these done, then I can start caulk that one. Then I'll caulk that one. That one's work okay. my way out. Gotcha. So we'll, de we'll see hopefully all this done and you got the caulking on the bridge deck yeah, as well. Yeah, bridge deck already. What's that? You saw that already, didn't you? I saw this bridge deck, yes. I don't need the bridge deck, I'm sorry. The four deck, up here. Oh, the four deck, I yes, I saw it. That looks yeah. great. Yeah, that looks great. So when, when was this done? I did this yesterday. So and when we so what you leave this let this dry for a few days? Yeah, we're not gonna we won't sand the boat till all it, all of it's done. So, so it's all except done. back there where he has to work. Okay. So I'm starting on this seam right here. So basically, once it's all caulked, you may even just walk away from that job yeah, for a while. Yeah, let it dry for a couple of days, good and, good and cured. So, it, I mean, it's probably sandable a day or two after, but we'll get it all done and then start sanding. Okay. Great, so okay. We'll look forward to seeing this all done next time we come. Yeah. And, yeah.